So, um, Susan, in your opinion, how does privacy affect this whole thing? You know, it's interesting because I, the way I see it relating to context, the one thing is, you know, you think about our relationship we used to have with companies, there were people involved, right? So, so you could develop trust in a certain way because you were interacting with a person sometimes. And I think now part of the situation with automation is there's that step back. It's like, who are we relating to? And how do I trust it in terms of privacy? Like, why should I trust, in essence, you talk about AI or things like that. Why should I trust a machine? You know, that's impersonal to start with. And so I think that it's putting companies in a situation where you have to think about how can I establish trust when from a person's point of view, they're not even sure who they're connecting with. And I think privacy is very tough right now. And I think people are quick to step back and say, I don't need to engage with this place. I've got lots of choices. There are many other places to go. That's a, that's a very nice observation in terms of how you have to first earn the trust. Second one is how do you differentiate yourself? The third one is how does that differentiation manifest in your communication? I think all three are important. Mm -hmm. And one has to really, you know, it's not magic. It, it is a process. So you, one needs to know where they are, where they want to go, how they want to go. So that is important. So, you know, blaming a technology or, you know, saying I have already invested in something doesn't matter. But the ability for you to really take this experience to the next level and learning from it, how does the customer really respond to it, is the whole meaning of connectedness, in my opinion. 